In New Jersey, another pilot is dead tonight, but this tragedy could have been far greater. On the night beat in Cranford, New Jersey, Channel 2's John Slattery has the story. In this densely populated residential area of Cranford, a light plane narrowly missed homes and high-tension wires along a railroad track and suddenly crashed. I heard like a crackle, you know, like as if they were tearing trees down. It was not a tree. It was a single-engine plane plowing through the trees and slamming to a stop in the backyard of George Hardman. And the plane was not running, so there was no warning. It just came in and hit the tree, and that's what I heard. With the force of the crash, the fuselage bent back like a jackknife. With the pilot still alive and trapped inside, trying to get him out became a major effort. Emergency crews worked with pneumatic wrenches for more than 30 minutes before they were able to pry out the pilot, 44-year-old Edward Parr, who suffered chest and abdominal injuries and who died three hours later. The plane, a single-engine biplane, a home-built, was about a mile and a half short of the Linden Airport where it was based when it went down in a backyard 50 feet from where George and Pat Hardman were sitting in lawn chairs. Pretty lucky, it's for sure. I don't know, I guess God was on my side then. Officials of the FAA who were here at the scene don't yet know the cause of the crash, but they have authorized the plane to be dismantled and hauled away. In Cranford, New Jersey, John Slattery, Channel 2 News, on the night beat.